Okay, so this is what it was all about. I bought this BB gun, cheap, 128 to shoot iguanas, simple, little scope, 4x32. So it's got the pick and any rail supposedly and everything. That's why I liked it. And supposedly fiber optic sights. So I opened it. And there's this Crossman Nitro Piston. It's a nice Crossman. I would have kept it if it would have came at least with the parts it's supposed to. But because I don't like making a stink, I hate going in. But what I stumbled onto in the other videos, we'll get into in a minute. So that was in the box. Um, the Daisy 4x15. Okay, this comes with the 4x32 and so does the Ruger that's supposed to be in the box. Um, here's the, the original paperwork for the Ruger. And I, I just got this at 1.30. This was upon me opening it. When I opened it first at the back of the truck before I was heading home, I seen... It was a Crossman, and I was like bummed, and I was thinking, oh, I don't want to run back. And I seen the scope wrapped up. There's some bubble wrap here. Oh, no, the store took it. Okay, so I had bubble wrap on the counter with this. If you go back to the video, you'll see it. So there's some protective covering on the barrel. Um, it's a nice gun. If it would have had at least the Piccanini rail, the scope, and I seen pictures of it with it, so... And it don't have, don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just a regular sight. It could be that this, you know, so it's definitely not what I wanted. And this daisy don't even fit shit. And to tell you the truth, looking through this thing, you're better off just to, like me, I wear glasses, better off just straight up sights. That's, that's, there's kids to play with. You know, with the uh, smaller daisies, which I've been using to kill iguanas anyway. Anyway, so I digress. So what do we got here, right? We got at the store uh, a box. So they're missing a Ruger. So they actually, before I bought anything, let's just say, they were missing a Ruger. They got a daisy scope. So they're probably missing a daisy gun. They were missing a crossman. Or was this all different inventory repacked? Now let's go over the So the tears we see in the box, right? That's what I was concerned about. Why I originally asked the sporting goods lady and the checkout lady, hey, can we open this just to check if everything's all right? No, if it's not, you can return it, is what the checkout lady said. The sporting goods lady, she just was, she wasn't even in sporting goods. She was there in an aisle and I, she helped, um, find it and that was it so while i was there so so interesting right so a mishmash of parts right someone so how did they end up in this box and then while i was there that other gun was actually and i i should have videoed it when it was open but it was a ruger with woodstock beautiful looking and it had the rail, which was nice looking. It had the laser optic sights, and it was missing the scope. And that was another box that was taped up. See, these tapes are were there on the box. He, I just had to cut this. There was none of the circle ones on it that I could see um, originally, because all I did with the utility knife was cut the bottom edge. You'll see the bottom edge. So it was all sealed. So, and I got so excited because it's just like, I traveled for it, but there was no accountability. Like to me, this was a big concern. You have mishmashed parts. Now you could have customers that kept certain guns and returned certain things, but how, to, and th that would take three guns to purchase just to end up with these parts with one return. So that could be a possibility or someone in the store repackaged whatever the hell they wanted just to make their inventory better because they would have been missing three guns with it with this instead they at least got one inventory full gun this gun without the scope is incomplete 
the Daisy is missing, and the Ruger's missing. So th three things were, were ready to be off the inventory. One was saved. But then the other Ruger was also saved because they repackaged it with a missing scope. And then you have to deal with home office. And it says in the warning, uh, there's a warning in here that does say you can't return it to the store. And I didn't want to go running around with this thing. Like, my goal, so here's the name brand of the Ruger Umar X. So this is all that, 16 or older. So we got the nice Ruger packing material. So, but uh, there's actual warning that if you need service or anything, you're going directly to Ruger after you buy it. So I get it. So policy is one thing, but then for asset protection to tell me, oh, some thieves will come in to, and actually repackage things. So like, and I said, oh, bring in tape. And he said, yeah, you never know. So, you know, we're talking about a few misplaced guns. And they're only BB guns, so it's not like uh, firearms, but a few misplaced guns in inventory. And they got all sorts of excuses and managers wouldn't come. Not one manager would come out of a meeting to talk about it. And that's probably what I wanted was recognition. And they could have gave me any gun with a scope and I would have been happy. It could have been cheaper. It could have been more and I would have paid the difference. But so they didn't want to be accountable for this mess. And now that I think of it, it's a big mess because they're covering it up. Um, so like in the sense that they're downplaying it. So, you know, that's a little strange. AP is downplaying it. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe it's me. So yeah, I just wanted to complete one and I didn't want to go as high as 22. I didn't want to have a heavier. But my problem with this one is I could have just got rid of the headache because it was a consideration. I'd have to figure out what rail I could put on that in a scope because the nice thing about it was trying to have a scope and be more accurate pegging the iguanas. Anyway, I probably overreacted, but um, there's some shenanigans going on at the store. That's all. Bye.